siempre, Señor. We present the oriel of the catechumens. We pray for wisdom and strength for those who will be anointed with this oil in the sacraments of initiation, baptism, and confirmation. Christ our leader, single-handed you brought us victory. Bless the soil to keep your people strong and watchful, bold and free. present the chrism oil. We pray that the Holy Spirit may fill all those anointed with this oil with power for life and salvation. Almighty God, with your chrism, you anoint your people to make them holy and keep them one.
In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. the grace and peace of God our Father and our Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. And with your spirit. Hermanos y hermanas, esta noche comienzan los, de, los tres días más solemnes de nuestro año de la iglesia, el triduo pascual. Al comenzar este triduo sagrado y conmemorar los actos de humildad y servicio del Señor, recordamos los tiempos que no hemos vivido y amado en su ejemplo. My brothers and sisters, tonight we began the most solemn three days of the church year, the Easter Triduum. As we begin the sacred triduum and commemorate our Lord's acts of humility and service, we call to mind the times we have not lived and not loved in his example. Lord Jesus, you are the Paschal Lamb. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ Jesus, you feed us with your body and blood. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you show us how to love. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. O oh God, who have called us to participate in this most sacred supper, in which your only begotten Son, when about to hand himself over to death, entrusted to the church a sacrifice new for all eternity, the banquet of his love, grant, we pray, that we may draw from so great a mystery the fullness of charity and of life. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever.
A reading from the book of Exodus. The Lord said to Moses and Aaron in the land of Egypt, This month shall stand at the head of your calendar. You shall reckon it the first month of the year. Tell the whole community of Israel, On the tenth of this month, every one of your families must procure for itself a lamb, one apiece for each household. If a family is too small for a whole lamb, it shall join the nearest household in procuring one and shall share in the lamb in proportion to the number of persons who partake of it. The lamb must be a year old male and without blemish. You may take it from either the sheep or the goats. You shall keep it until the 14th day of this month. And then, with the whole assembly of Israel present, it shall be slaughtered during the evening twilight. They shall take some of its blood and apply it to the two doorposts and the lintel of every house in which they partake of the lamb. That same night, they shall eat its roasted flesh with unleavened bread and bitter herbs. This is how you, sure you are to eat it, with your loins girt, sandals on your feet, and your staff in hand. You shall eat like those who are in flight. It is the Passover of the Lord. For in this same night, I will go through Egypt, striking down every firstborn of the land, both man and beast, and executing judgment on all the gods of Egypt. I, the Lord. But the blood will mark the houses where you are. Seeing the blood, I will pass over you. Thus, when I strike the land of Egypt, no destructive blow will come upon you. This day shall be a memorial feast for you, which all your generations shall celebrate with pilgrimage to the Lord as a perpetual institution. The word of the Lord.
lectura de la primera carta del apóstol San Pablo a los Corintios. Hermanos, yo recibí del Señor lo mismo que les he transmitido, que el Señor Jesús, la noche en que iba a ser entregado, tomó pan en sus manos y pronunciando la acción de gracias, lo partió y dijo, esto es mi cuerpo que se entrega por ustedes, hagan esto en memoria mía. Lo mismo hizo con el cáliz después de cenar, diciendo, este cáliz es la nueva alianza que sella con mi sangre, hagan esto en memoria mía siempre que beban de él. Por eso cada vez que ustedes comen de este pan y beben de este cáliz, proclaman la muerte del Señor hasta que vuelva. Palabra de Dios. to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. I give you a new commandment, says the Lord. Love one another Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, Lord. Before the feast of Passover, Jesus knew that his hour had come to pass from this world to the Father. He loved his own in the world, and he loved them to the end. The devil had already induced Judas, son of Simon the Iscariot, to hand him over. So during supper, fully aware that the father had put everything into his power and that he had come from God and was returning to God, he rose from supper and took off his outer garment. He took a towel and tied it around his waist. Then he poured water into a basin and he began to wash the disciples' feet and dry them with the towel around his waist. He came to Simon Peter, who said to him, Master, are you going to wash my feet? Jesus answered and said to him, What I am doing you do not understand now, but you will understand later. Peter said to him, You will never wash my feet. Jesus answered him, Unless I wash you, you will have no inheritance with me. Simon Peter said to him, Master, then not only my feet, but my hands and head as well. Jesus said to him, Whoever has bathed has no need except to have his feet washed, for he is clean all over. So you are clean, but not all. For he knew who would betray him. For this reason he said, Not all of you are clean. So when he had washed their feet, he put his garment back on and reclined at table again, and he said to them, Do you realize what I have done for you? You call me teacher and master, and rightly so, for indeed I am. If I therefore, the master and teacher, have washed your feet, you ought to wash one another's feet. I have given you a model to follow, so that as I have done for you, you should also do. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. 
So first, I am going to give a short homily in Spanish, and then I will uh, repeat in English. Uh, it's just always easier for me to get through the Spanish first. Um, then I don't stress through the whole thing. So, esta noche es cuando recordamos el Huevo Santos. El Huevo Santos es la noche cuando Jesús y sus discípulos celebramos la última cena, cuando ellos han recordado la Pascua en Egipto. And entonces es, es parte de la plan de nuestro Dios. And entonces Jesucristo con sus discípulos está enseñando los discípulos y nosotros quién es Dios. Muchas veces queremos pensar qué quieres a mí, de mí, Dios. ¿Qué me quieres hacer? Esta noche es cuando sabemos quién nuestro Dios está, quién es. Él, recuerden en domingo, el domingo pasado, en el gimnasio, si estaban aquí, antes de la pasión, yo dije, durante la pasión, escuchen, escuchen que pasando, que siendo los discípulos cuando Jesús está eh, discutiendo que una persona va a traicionarme. ¿Estaban pensando sobre eso en domingo? Y entonces Jesús lavó los pies de Judas que lo entregaría. Jesús lavó los pies de Pedro, que lo negaría tres veces. Jesús la, lavó los pies de los demás, que discutían sobre quién sería el mejor discípulo. Jesús lavó todos. Y dijo a sus discípulos, les he, de, les he dado ejemplo para que lo que yo he hecho con ustedes también ustedes lo hagan. Él dijo que quiere para nosotros. Es para servir. No somos lo mejor. Si queremos mejor en el cielo... Necesitamos ser más baja aquí en la tierra. Este es nuestro Dios. Jesús vino aquí para servir, para mostrarnos cómo vivir nuestra vida. Y entonces no necesitamos hacer cosas magníficas durante la vida, pero muy suave para ayudar unos a otros, para pensar sobre otros, para dar en su vida sus acciones para servir unos a otros. Esta vida es la práctica. Y entonces continúa a practicar, a servir cada día. Ok, English. <laughs> Do you like that transition? <laughs> so last Sunday, um, during the Passion of the Lord, I said, um, when we were over in the gym, unless you were at 8 o'clock, then it was here uh, in the back of the church, you know, what, to focus on what the disciples were doing when Jesus was telling them all that somebody's going to betray me. One of you is going to betray me. And they're like, oh, no, not me. Is it me? Gosh, I hope not. Not me, Lord. And then they started, started arguing, well, since you're going to be trade, die, and raised, then uh, who's going to be number one in your kingdom? <laughs> uh, so how do you think he felt? Not real good, I'm sure. But Jesus was teaching them who the Lord is, 
how to be like the Lord, why Jesus came to this earth. And Jesus washed every single one of those disciples' feet. He washed the feet of Judas, even though he knew Judas would betray him. He washed the feet of Simon Peter, even though he knew that Simon Peter would deny he knew Jesus three times before that cock crowed. He washed the feet of all the rest who were arguing about who was the best when he was facing his own death. And then he said, do this like I have shown you. Be a servant. That, who's, that is who our God is. He sent Jesus to this earth to serve, to empty himself. And that's what we celebrate these three holiest days of the year. Jesus giving everything of himself so that we might have eternal life. All we have to do is do what he told us. Be like him. He is the example. And during that time in that room, that upper room, he gave them the bread and the wine. And he said, do this always in memory of him. And that's what we do every Mass. We take that bread and we take that wine and we remember what Christ did for us like what he remembered what God did for the Jewish people. So now we're going to reenact what Christ did at that, in that holy night, washing the feet. We are going to not wash everybody's feet. We have all our candidates and catechumens and their sponsors this year that will have their feet washed. It should be around 38 um, that we will watch. So for those of you who are not getting your feet washed, um, just think about what Jesus did. Not what Deacon Mike and I are doing, but what Jesus did. Because Jesus, the only one that gets close to doing and understanding exactly what Jesus did is Pope Francis. Today he went to a prison and washed the prisoner's feet. And that's what he does every year. Since he's been elected the Pope, he washes the feet of prisoners. Muslim prisoners, Jewish prisoners, Catholic prisoners, Protestant prisoners. Male prisoners, female prisoners, children. That is the closest of understanding what Jesus did. Okay, vamos a, a lavar los pies, pero solamente los personas que está en la rica y sus sponsors va uh, a lavar los pies. And entonces este año vamos a recordar um, qué pasó in la última cena, cuando Jesús lavó los personas, a los pies de los discípulos. Y recuerden también um, que es un, um, una acción para recordarnos que Jesús hizo para nuestro mundo. Y también the, el diácono Miguel y yo es, es un reenactment, es diferente, pero es para ayudarnos a, a tener la visión de Jesucristo que pasó. Este día el Papa Francisco lavó los pies de 12 personas en la cárcel. Cada año el Papa Francisco lavó lava los pies de personas en la cárcel. Mujeres, hombres, niños, protestantes, católicas, judíos, muslamos, todos. Este es casi de Jesucristo. Para servir 
quien la sociedad dice es, no es importante. ¿Verdad? Ok, vamos a comenzar. We're going to start.
Mientras entramos en la Pascua del Señor, intercedamos ante Dios de parte de todos en el nombre de Jesús, de nuestro Maestro el Señor. As we enter into the Passover of the Lord, let us intercede before our God on behalf of all. In the name of Jesus, our teacher and Lord. Por el Papa, los obispos, los sacerdotes y todo el pueblo de Dios, para que sigamos el ejemplo de Cristo que lavó los pies de sus discípulos, roguemos al Señor. Te rogamos, Señor. For the nations and peoples of the world that Christ's peace and justice may reign forever, especially for the restoration of peace in Ukraine, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Por aquellos no, que no tienen comida adecuada, vivienda u otros recursos, que encuentran apoyo en la generosidad de los demás y la reforma de los sistemas rotos que perpetúan la privación y la disparidad, roguemos al Señor. Te rogamos, Señor. For those preparing for baptism and the Easter sacraments, that they may rise from death to new life in Christ, we pray to the Lord. Por la apreciación más profunda de la Eucaristía y un mayor deseo de ser transformados por la gracia que nos ofrece individualmente y como comunidad parroquial, roguemos al Señor. For those who have departed this world to go to the Father, especially Pablo Jose Sayas, may they come to share fully in Christ's Paschal victory. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Loving God, you sent your Son to model for us self-giving love. Hear our prayers that we might follow his example of serving others and one day enjoy life with you forever at the heavenly banquet. And we ask this through Christ our Lord.
pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Grant us, O Lord, we pray, that we may participate worthily in these mysteries, for whenever the memorial of this sacrifice is celebrated, the work of our redemption is accomplished through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For he is the true and eternal priest who instituted the pattern of an everlasting sacrifice and was the first to offer himself as the saving victim, commanding us to make this offering as his memorial. As we eat his flesh that was sacrificed for us, we are made strong. And as we drink his blood that was poured out for us, we are washed clean. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. Santo eres en verdad, Señor, fuente de toda santidad. Por eso te pedimos que santifiques estos dones con la fusión de tu espíritu, de manera que se conviertan para nosotros en el cuerpo y la sangre de Jesucristo nuestro Señor, el cual cuando iba a ser entregado a su pasión, voluntariamente aceptada, tomó pan, dándote gracias, y lo pasó a sus discípulos diciendo, tomen y comen todos de él, porque esto es mi cuerpo que será entregado por ustedes. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. 
Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, James, our Bishop, the clergy, and all your children. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At our Savior's command, informed by divine teaching in nuestro, uh, nuestro idioma, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. So our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. The kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Este es el Cordero de Dios que quita el pecado del mundo. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word of my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. Grant, almighty God, that just as we are renewed by the supper of your Son in this present age, so we may enjoy his banquet for all eternity, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Okay, at this point in time, we're, um, through, we're at the end of the Holy Thursday uh, part of the three-part Mass. This is one Mass that will not culminate or not end until the Easter Vigil ends on Saturday. So we will have a procession um, of the Eucharist uh, through the church, but you all stay in your pews, okay? Um, it's just going to be us processing through, and then at the end of the procession, we will have adoration on the altar until midnight, and you're welcome to stay um, in adoration up until midnight, or you may leave uh, when you would like, okay? But we will depart in silence today, and we will come into church tomorrow in silence and depart in silence tomorrow after the Easter Vigil. We'll whoop it up, okay? Mm -hmm.